Christ to you. And we thank the Lord for being in worship at this 8.30 hour. And excited about all that the Lord has done, what He is doing, and what He shall do. Grab the Bibles and meet me at the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 21, verse 19. Matthew 21 and 19. Sister Green, you know the seasons are switching as allergy seasons. So you, you, you hear me. Amen. Amen. Even Sharon, I didn't want to take no medicine yet. I caught myself trying to hold out. <laughs> Amen. Amen. These things must be. Matthew chapter 21, verse 19. Matthew 21 and 19. Are you there? Hear ye the word of the Lord. When he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves only. And said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforward forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. I like to tag this text, the cursing Christ. The cursing Christ. My bad, the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Thank you, Lord. Bring our strength and redeemer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The cursing Christ. Yes, yes. The, the gospel writers, I contend, have done such a phenomenal job painting the picture of what we come to know about Christ. Yes. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They've done, Sister Clark, such a fine job at informing us about what we know concerning our Christ. Yes. In particular, they continue and have always informed us about the tripartite ministry of Christ. Well. His teaching, preaching, and healing ministry. Yeah. If you examine any of the gospel writers, all of them paint the picture about the Lord teaching, preaching, and healing. Yes. Take in account the time that he decides to speak to his disciples to inform them that before they follow him, they must first count the cost. He teaches them, if you will, about counting the cost. Yeah. Take for instance the time that he decides to stand upon a great mountain top and began to inform them about the blessings that shall be upon those who may be considered less fortunate than others. Take into account the time that he stands upon the mountain top and begins to express, if you will, how you and I are the salt of the earth. Yeah. If the salt has lost its savor, what good is it for anyone? He is preaching, if you will, to take into consideration the time that he stops a funeral procession. Well, and in the middle of them taking a young lady to her final resting place, Jesus pauses the whole funeral procession, taps the coffin. And after he taps the coffin, what was there is now 
Oh, 
Yeah. 
Tree full of leaves, 